Now it's one of the world's most important shipping routes and it's blocked. A giant container ship ran aground in the Suez Canal after losing power. And at around 200,000 tonnes and over 400 metres long, the container, well, it's going to take some shifting. 50 ships a day normally pass through the canal, carrying 12% of the world's trade. So the pressure is really on to get her refloated. Here's Richard Galpin. One of the world's biggest container ships blocking the Suez Canal, one of the world's most vital trade routes. The ship, operated by a Taiwanese company, Evergreen, heading north through the canal towards the Mediterranean when it lost all power and steering. So what are the reasons for this? One of them is engine failure. Um, you lose control due to engine failure. You would lose control um, due to a steering failure or you would lose control, which appears to be the case here because they have been... Um, they have experienced high winds. The dots here show the congestion that's already built up as other large ships and oil and gas containers arrive in the area, but can go no further. The position of Evergiven totally blocking the route. The 200,000 tonne ship has now been stuck for two days. The ship's technical managers have ruled out any mechanical or engine failures as a cause of this incident. Work to refloat it continues, but so far has not been successful. It's an unusual situation and it's a very dire one. Uh, this is the largest vessel ever to go ground in the Suez Canal and she's gone sideways in the canal blocking both north and south passage. It could have a huge ramifications for global trade, especially between Asia and Europe. Normally 50 ships a day pass through the Suez Canal, providing up to 12% of world trade. The main alternative for ships travelling between Asia and Europe is around Africa, but this is a much longer route. Richard Galpin, BBC News.